All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at the upgrade of that clear wing synchro dragon, that crystal math, I mean crystal wing synchro dragon. So uh, interestingly enough, like this card got revealed before it even came in the anime, which is just like, well, all right, interesting. I, think, I don't think that's ever happened before. And I think also with that uh, tiger girl, uh, you know, Serena's tiger fusion, like, I don't know, and maybe it was me, but uh, I was like, I got up, I saw the the, the tiger uh, fusion monster as, as the actual card on Meg Capital G's, and then I watched the anime, and then she summoned it. It was like, oh, well, this is weird. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that will ever happen again. And then, of course, you know, spoiler alert, you know, you go ahead to bust this out to handle that bitch. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, we here have here a uh, Crystal Meth Synchro Dragon, uh, an upgrade to Clear Wing, and... Rightfully so, rightfully so. This card's actually pretty good. A ton of people on Dev Pro, Wajio Pro, literally just playing speed rights just to bust this monster out. So let's go ahead and review it. So, uh, Crystal Mess Synchro Dragon is a win Dragon Synchro effect monster. A level 8, a 3000 attack, 2500 defense. So we've seen that stat before. We, we've seen it a ton of time. So, uh, made with one tuner and one or more non tuner. What's that word? What's that word? Synchro? Synchro? Hmm. Hmm, oh, how could you miss that mega capital G? You, you know, you, t you just take out that one word, you just, you know, you're just nitpicking on what you want to read and what you don't want to read. So you go ahead and take out that word. If it didn't have the word there, then oh my god, this card would be redonkulous. But no, no, no. One tuner plus one or more non tuner synchro monsters. Understandably so. So, literally, uh, clear wing plus, you know, a red eye. Bam. Crystal Mask Dragon. So, uh, let's go ahead and read its effects and determine whether it is worth a summon. So, once per turn during either player's turn, when a monster effect is activated. Period. Not on the field. Period. So, you know, like usual, that uh, that field, that hand, that graveyard, it doesn't matter what you're activating. You can negate the activation if you do destroy it. And if you do, and, then, and, and if you do so, if you destroy that card, this card gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack until the end of this turn. Whew, that, that that's a good effect. That, that is a really good effect. Being able to just literally kill any monster, spell speed 2, during either player's turn. Just be like, hey, you activated your effect? All right, let me go ahead and snap your neck and then feed off your essence and get stronger. You know, we, we've seen that plenty of times with uh, Clear Wing. It's just like, like no, stop you, and then I'm going to gain your strength. So, uh, you know, unlike Clear Wing, where it's like, hey, if it's a level 5 or higher, then I can go ahead and, you know, kill it. Or, hey, if I'm targeted, then, or any level 5 or higher is targeted, then I can go ahead and snap their neck and, you know, gain the strength. This one's just any monster effect, period. Any monster effect, I'm going to go ahead and kill it, you know. So, uh, <laughs> if I have this on the field, and you bust out that infinity, and I <laughs> and you go effect, and I go Fiendish Chain, and then you go chain my effect to, you know, negate the Fiendish Chain, so I'm going to kill so I'm gonna, you know, eat you up because I'm using my effect to eat you up. I'm gonna be like, no, power of crystal meth compels you, and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and snap that <laughs> that uh, infinity's neck, and then gain the strength until the end of the turn. So that effect is actually pretty good, and it's definitely uh, the reason why I've seen a ton of people playing this because they just want to bust out this monster because that effect is so good. This card also has another effect as well, you know. Clearwing had two effects, this card has two effects. So what's this card's second effect? And does it stack up to a uh, Clearwing's effect of being like, hey, if I'm targeted or if a level 5 or higher is targeted, we can go ahead and block that too. Oh, this card's second effect is, if this card battles an opponent's level 5 or higher monster, during damage calculation, this card gains attack equal to the attack of the, of the opponent's monster it battles during damage calculation only. Okay, uh... That's good. It's not great. I mean, you're a 3,000 beater, and, you know, if anything, I would seriously doubt a level 5 or higher is going to come after you to try to mess you up. I mean, it's just so situational, so niche, you know. Uh, more often than not, you maybe you'll go after a level 5 or higher, but I just don't see, you know, a level 5 or higher coming after you unless they obviously don't read the card. So, you know, it's not even really a surprise factor at all. It's just kind of obviously there. So just don't come after this card with a level 5 or higher. I mean, I know it's a 3,000 beater, and generally you're going to have to summon a level 5 or higher to get attack over this, but don't do not do it. <laughs> don't do it. So, uh, spoiler alerts, if you haven't seen the episode, then I apologize, because here's some spoilers. Uh, she goes ahead, uh, Serena goes into her uh, Tiger Fusion Girl, 
Tiger Fusion Girls, you know, 3,500 and it can't be destroyed by card effects and it can't be targeted. It's just like, oh my god, what do you do? You know, you go bust and bust this out and ironically uses that effect because, you know, uh, that first effect where it's like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, again, destroy you. Well, she can't be targeted, so, no. But the second effect where, you know, battle level 5 or higher monster, her tiger lady fusion is like level 10, just attack into it. Let me go ahead and get in that attack, go 65 and smack you in the face. So, uh, ironically, you know, I'm talking about how this effect is kind of niche, but hey, put, give you go the win in the anime, so. So, like I said, this, this effect is okay. You know, it, it's a nice little occlusion. Personally, personally, I prefer uh, clear wings effect. You know, just because there's been plenty of times where I double up, where, you know, I'm doing against a synchro deck, I bust out that clear wing, you know, they may go ahead and their first synchro, they may be like, all right, let me go ahead and activate my synchro monster effect, and I'll be like, no, you're level 5 or higher, I'm going to kill you. And then they try to bust out another monster who, of course, will come out and try to target me, and I'll be like, no, I'm going to kill you. So, you know, there's been plenty of times where uh, clear wing gets two kills off in one turn just because both effects were uh, used in that turn. There's on the other hand, I mean, you know, I'm dropping them two good effects down to one good effect, and then just some bonus attack on level fives or higher monsters, you know. Uh, you know, it seems like uh, this card would be kind of good against Cosmo, depending on how many, uh, you know, Cosmo monsters slash Dark Destroyers they bust out, because generally, I have Cosmo handle shit, they either attack over it, or they pop it with Dark Destroyer. This card can handle both those situations, you know, and whether it be, you know, summon Dark Destroyer and, you know, you activated the monster effect, I'm going to kill you, or, you know, you activate one of your pilot effects, I'm going to kill them, you know, but, you know, generally it's just, I'm Dark Destroyer, I'm a 3,000 beater, I can't be targeted, well, you know, I'm Crystal Meth Dragon, and, you know, I've escalated the drugs, you know, we used to be speed, we used to just do speed, but now we're doing Crystal Meth come at me dark destroyer and dark destroyer is like ah oh, i'm at least gonna crash i float and then you're just gonna be like hey i'm gonna go up to six thousand and smack you in the face so uh like i said there's some niche effects like i said it's just i don't like that we went from two good effects down to one and then one niche effect uh like i said i kind of wish you would did something different with that second effect but you know anime wise i can't complain i can't complain because uh if uh, if uh, Crystal did not have that second effect, there would have been no way that uh, Yuo would have been able to handle that uh, Tiger Fusion bitch. So, yeah. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Crystal Meth Synchro Dragon in the comment section below. Uh, I know definitely one thing. I know definitely one thing. I am totally going to put it in uh, Labradite Ubel, you know, bust it out with that uh, Ultimate Jazulkin. What? You didn't know you can do that? Yeah, why not? Dragon, Synchro, level 8. You know, screw the whole tuner plus you know, plus one more non-tuner synchro monsters. How about I just summon it with Ultimate Tzolkin, with Ultimate Tzolkin's effect? You know, uh, I mean, the extra deck in that deck is really, really tight. But uh, we might be able to squeeze it in there. Even if maybe I had to take out one of my uh, XC monsters, which I only run two. You know, or another synchro monster. We're gonna fit in there. And I really, like I said, uh, I do really like the defense capability. Like I said. The, Clearing more defensive, this card more offensive. I really like the defense capability of a uh, of a uh, clear wing in that deck. You know, just being able to uh, bust out a clear wing and uh, and have ultimate token be nice and double protected. So I, I'm not sure if I'll take out clear wing, but you know, I'll definitely go ahead and put some crystal meth up in my deck and just snort it all up. I don't even. It, how do you even do crystal meth? Like I don't, I don't know how do you, how you do crystal meth. <laughs> I've been calling this thing crystal meth synchro dragon, and I don't even know how you do crystal meth. <laughs> All right, people. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. Oh, oh, oh one, more, one more thing. One more thing. Dragonides. You could do it easy, easy. You know. Do you know how you go ahead and go your your ducks and your phalanx and unequip, go into your vagina, vagina, equip the the phalanx again, unequip the phalanx instead of going into that stardust like you usually do, just go into this. Vagina is the non-tuner synchro monster. Phalanx is a tuner. This ease with ease, you know. And so dragonides, you can go ahead and bust this out. <laughs> yeah. So at least we don't have to see that starter spam. Maybe we can go ahead and see some crystal meth spam for the dragonity. So there you go. I gave you uh, two great ideas on ways to bust this out besides just playing speedroids. So have fun. <laughs> have fun uh, doing crystal meth, people. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, of course, we'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. So uh, look forward to it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys next week.
All right, thanks for watching.